Hi guys, today in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to handle multiple numbers of exceptions inside a single cache block. So guys, when you write your code and you know that there is a possibility that your application may going to throw you some exception in the runtime, how you handle that kind of scenario? So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to wrap all your risky code inside a try block followed by multiple numbers of cache block to handle multiple numbers of exceptions. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? So, if your application is throwing you 5 different exceptions, you need to write 5 different cache blocks to handle those exceptions. Nice, but you know what? We developers are lazy. We always look for a shortcut. So, is there any shortcut so that we can put all these exceptions inside a single cache block so that we don't need to write an individual cache block to handle an individual exception? Yes, from Java 1.7 version, you actually can write multiple numbers of exceptions inside a single cache block so i can say it's a new feature of java so you want to know how it works watch this tutorial till end to get your answer okay, so now let's do it practically okay so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to create multiple exceptions and i need to handle that inside a single cache block well that's interesting okay so first of all i do have a class over here called class taste and i do have a main method isn't it so to create some exceptions, I need to write some code, right? So, uh, let's say I have two variables. First one is number one, and I'm assigning it to 10. And the second one is number two, and I'm assigning it to five. Oops, okay. So now, I do have a simple sysout over here. Oops, sysout. And what I'm doing over here, I'm dividing number one by number two. And this is really simple if I run this program, I'm getting two as an output, isn't it? But what if, if I change this to zero? So it is going to give me arithmetic exception, right? So if I run it over here, I'll do a okay. Well, there we go. Uh, Java.lang.arithmetic exception divided by zero. Well, if I need to handle this type of exception, what I need to do, very simple. I need to put everything inside a try block all this code inside a try block and followed by a catch as you guys know so what i need to do over here i need to create my cache block and i need to put arithmetic exceptions over here and i'll write e and i'll just print this e so i'll write this out and e there we go so now if you're going to run it there is nothing special you are just going to get that exception uh, java at line arithmetic exception divided by zero well all right okay now let's create a, another exception right and let's try to see how we're going to handle that inside a same cache block okay so now let's say let me create a, another exception called array index out of bound exception so to do that first i need to declare the array so i'll say int k array equal to new int of and i'll write five over here so i just declared an array of size five okay so now let's try to put some value inside it well i'm not going to initialize it one by one instead i'm going to use a for loop and this is going to do the trick for me so i'm going to use a for loop over here and let's uh, say int i equal to zero then i less than equal to five and i'll write i plus plus and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to initialize this k of i equal to i okay so now if you see this one's of course there is a problem inside it i know you can guess that but let me quickly cover what is that so now if you see over here i have initialized the array with size 5 isn't it so as you know array index starts from 0 and in my case i should initialize it till the fourth index right 0 1 2 3 and 4 0 to 4 which is 5 index but if you see over here I do have a less than an equal sign over here, which is gonna technically initialize my sixth index of my array, which is never there, okay? So in this case, you are going to get an exception, which is called array index out of bound exception, right? So let me quickly run this code and let me show you guys, okay? So let me change this to five. Now, there is no problem with this piece of code, but there is a problem with this piece of code, okay? So let me check that out. So I'll click okay, and there we go array index out of bound exception okay so first is printing two then it's giving me array index out of bound exception because of this piece of code okay so to handle this type of exception 
what we used to do before Java 1.7 version, we need to write a, another cache block, isn't it? Like this, and we have to put inside RA index out of bound exception E, and again we need to print this. So it's out and E. Okay, so we have to follow this approach in order to handle multiple exceptions, isn't it? But Java 1.7 gives us a very cool trick that we can apply while we are writing code. So from Java 1.7 version, we really do not have to write multiple cache blocks to handle different types of exception. Instead, we can handle all these exceptions inside a single cache block. Okay, so let me show you guys how you do that. So first of all, let me delete this piece of code and let me handle the array index out of bound exception over here inside this cache block. So for that, what I need to do, I need to put this operator over here then I need to write RA index out of bound exception and E, okay? So this is really, really simple, isn't it? Put your first exception, then put this operator, and then put your second exception, then give it a variable, and then do whatever you want to do over here. But in my case, I'm just printing it right over here, okay? So now what's gonna be happening, right? I do not have any arithmetic exception problem over here, but this piece of code is going to give me RA index out of bound exception this cache block is going to execute and this e contains other index out of bound exception object right so this one is going to come in the console right so let me run it once again so let me click run and there we go so two because of this sysout number one divided by number two and then this exception java.lang are index out of bound exception because of the fifth index that's really cool isn't it okay now if i'll fix this piece of core and if i remove this equal sign over here now this program is completely fine and if i run this there is no problem i'm getting two right so what if if i change this to zero right now okay and if i save this program and if i run it again there you go i'm getting arithmetic exception and this cache block is handling that okay so one more thing you can handle as many exceptions as you want right suppose I want to handle another exception with this cache block. So let's say this try block contains some more amount of core and I suspect that those core is going to give me null pointer exception, okay? So in order to handle that, what I can do, I don't need to write another cache block, right? I can actually handle this inside this same cache block, okay? So how can I do that? I just need to put this over here, then null pointer exception and ending with my variable e okay so if there is another chance of getting null pointer exception then e is going to return to me the null pointer exception object all right and that's it so if i do have a null pointer exception problem in my program then no problem this cache block is there it's going to handle it so in my case this cache block is handling arithmetic exception r index out of bound exception and null pointer exception in the same time so this is really really cool i like it so in this way you can handle multiple exceptions inside a same cache block but do remember this is only possible in java 1.7 version or later versions of java so that's it if you really like this tutorial then subscribe to my channel for more updates and if you're watching this in facebook you can like to my page for further updates and posts so thank you very much for watching have a nice day and happy coding